Hi guys, uh, welcome back uh, to our channel Sailing Victoria. Today I have a plan to install a special device for charging lithium uh, battery for the dinghy. Uh, last uh, time we um, sail and have a problem with the motor for the dinghy, so it's time to fix this issue forever. If you are new to our channel, welcome aboard to our 1971 Viking 37. My name is Ivan, this is my wife Victoria, and these are our kids. I got this uh, charger from a local Canadian uh, manufacturer. I never used these products uh, and never used this manufacturer before, but it uh, looks uh, solid. And we are going to install this uh, thing uh, following uh, to instruction. Of installation and set up properly to make it uh, working nice yeah not the worst quality but uh, yeah it could be better anyway uh, let's give it a try and see how this work honestly I hate when uh, uh, manufacturers use the screws in electronics I don't see any problem to make a thread and use the proper bolts there are two fuses inside so I got a get a spares. Uh, I just need to check what uh, rate is. They are 220s. Yeah, that's fine. So I have to drive to local store to get the wires because I didn't have such uh, uh, need. Uh, so as per calculation, I gotta use the gauge 10 or 8. So I took uh, 8 and I got also the terminals and uh, bolts and nuts and I'm going to install it right now. So for the terminals, I use this uh, nice uh, cheap um, compression tool for, for the terminals. Very cool, recommended. It looks like this will fit, I don't know, six or nine. Depends where, how do you look at. So, yeah, let's put it in and we'll start uh, from uh, one of the wire. Uh, let's take red one. Yeah, the only downside with this press Compressor is just I uh, need <laughs> extra hands, I guess. It started to bite. It's time. Push the wire all the way in and continue to pump it in to make it tight. This is it, not going anymore. Yeah, it's a uh, funny <laughs> compression that happens, but anyway, it's uh, most reliable. So I will put the heat shrink on it and good to go. It's almost it, so I'm gonna put the uh, heat shrink. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot my uh, heat gun, so I gotta use this <laughs> lighter. Well, anyway, you just need the heat and um, this is a special heat shrink. Uh, it contains some glue inside and it uh, very well sticks to any metal or outer shield of the wire and make it uh, waterproof completely. And if, if you uh, look at the edges, you see the glue is going out. So this is a good sign that uh, it's a good uh, adhesion inside. And this is mostly about it. It looks like everything is connected right now. So a uh, charger will be connected in parallel with the windlass uh, battery through the breaker. Uh, I have to change it to 20 amp, but now it's 150 amp. I don't know why, why I put it on, but anyway, it is what it is uh, for now. Uh, it will work. Um, then uh, I got to connect plus to the D1 terminal. They call it D1, it's uh, for ignition. Um, then uh, yeah, I got two red and black going to the battery and this RJ45 connector goes to the, uh, the thermal uh, temperature sensor and the uh, deep five must be off, which is up position for lithium battery, which makes uh, maximum voltage output. It's about 14.6 volts, I guess. So everything is packed and fastened 
and later I will uh, add the nozzle breaker to to the battery side plus I got it two two amp batteries uh, breaker somewhere but I couldn't find it it's time to uh, put it on well uh, I fastened it all uh, units nice and tight almost <laughs> not perfect yet but uh, whatever I could so there is a temperature sense right here this is minus uh, terminal and this one is a plus terminal so this is the battery and let's uh, put it on the battery is on I got some voltage displayed on the battery and um, I have some feeling that I don't have a power actually <laughs> So I did measure the input voltage and uh, figured out I don't have 12 volt in. And finally I trace it down to the disconnected uh, minus wire from uh, Windlass battery. Let's try it on. Yep, there you go, the lights, fan on and the voltage just jumps in to a little bit. Hmm, interesting. I, I don't know, I don't know what to say, seriously. So sounds like this is a primary issue what I had in the past and why that battery wasn't charged actually. <laughs> well, anyway, um, it is what it is. I got a fancy charge on. I hope it will do its work. And, and now it's just connected properly. Just need to put the uh, all back again and let's turn it on. Fuse is on, got some buzz. Yeah, voltage is up, so let's measure the current. So what does it say? That's two something amp, which is good. And let's try reverse it. It's about the same. Yeah, 2.6. Cool. Yeah, I, I did actually charge this battery from the wall at home, so it should be almost uh, fully charged. So yeah, I just stopped up and good to go. Well, uh, anyway, it's all uh, installed and ready to check it by time. This is it for today and uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up, subscribe and leave comments down below. Thank you. Bye.